Ladies and gentlemen, how you guys doing, man? Hey, it's your boy, Mr. J, man. I'm coming all the way. What's happening? What's good? Your dick gang was good, mother. Hey, I just want to say, man, thank you for tuning in, man. If you don't know who I am, if this is your first time coming to, man, they call me Mr. J, aka Kwame Boy, a bong boy, a dewali, a dekuni, a dokumake, kriyo boy, bazinga. Yup. Man, what's happening, man? I hope you're having a, a, a perfect, a perfect weekend. I mean, don't worry about the light, man. It's the car. See that? If I put that off, it's going to get dark. So, man, hey, I just have something I want to say real quick, man. Hey, before we get started, man, hit that subscribe button, smash that like, and that notification, man. Give us a thumbs and leave a comment. Let's talk about this issue. Smell me. So, man, there is this thing going on online, man. I know a couple of you asked me to talk about it. Uh, about the Shakta Wale and the DeVito situation. It's kind of like a fight and everything and whatnot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of y'all asked me to give my take on it, and so we're gonna talk about that. I mean, this has nothing to do with music, music reaction. This is let me just put it out that this is a no musical reaction. You dig, we're good, we cleared. Now, grab a cup of tea or something, I don't know, wine, and let's talk about this shit, man. So, Ghana, Nigeria, there's always been this tension and this beef, man. It's either the fan base are comparing one artist to the other. You did. We had the situation of uh, of of Shata Wale and, and Burner Boy, which is still ongoing. You dig some of the bloggers and the vloggers have always been on that situation, and then now we got the situation of Shata Wale and the V Dope. Ladies and gentlemen, these brothers are very dope brothers. You dig dope artists. I have to respect them for their craft. You dig and say, I'm the kind of brother I give respect. I pay homage where homage is due. You dig dope artists in their right. Great, talented brothers from Motherland. You dig, they've been doing epic shit and putting Motherland on the map. You dig, we, we, we should not get that twisted. So, uh, a couple of days ago, man, uh, I think a fan told me, like, hey, Mr. J, uh, the video just bought a Rolls Royce truck. And I was like, all right, that's cool. The man got money like that. And then it turns out that um, Shata Wale had bought a car like that. He's his wife, I think. But uh, I don't know if it's a lesser version. You dig? Because, of course, DeVito got the 2021 version. You dig? Because I did my research. I Googled everything. And I checked everything else. And that compared to Shakta. They are all Royce Royces. Let me tell you. A Royce Royce made in 2020. A Royce Royce made in 2010. It's all dope. It just comes with an upgraded features inside. You feel me? It's a dope classic car. It did. If you give me a Rolls Royce made in 1985, the year, you know, I would still take it. It's a classic car. You feel me? But so, um, so Shata Wale went online. I mean, I don't know if he's had a little beef or I don't know, a little something that he had to get off his chest. And the man is a hustler. I mean, he left a, 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 a subliminal shot, which I thought was immature. But, uh, hey, you got to do your thing. You got to talk your shit, you dig? And my man was like, yo, man, we buy cars. We are real hustlers, you dig? We spend our own money. We make our own money, and we don't rely on our father's money, on daddy's money. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we might act, GH, Ghana, we might act like we don't know who this shit was directed to. But, you know, we got to keep it straight. We got to keep it 100. And I'm going to tell you as it is. I'm not a Ghanaian or a Nigerian, but I'm an African. You dig? I'm all Cameroon. You feel me? But we all African. We got we to gotta keep it 100 with each other. That was directed at DeVito. Period. Let's not BS ourselves. Let's not lie to each other. That was a shot directed to DeVito. You feel me? Now, I don't know the purpose which this man, the ground on which this man was saying. Of course, you guys know... Uh, um, Mr. DeVito. DeVito's father is a billionaire, a very rich. This kid is from, this brother is from a wealthy family. Hey, we do not choose who we, what family we get born into. And for somebody to use that as a subliminal jive or a subliminal shot, I personally think it's very childish. I know some of my Shata Wale SM for Life fans, you guys gonna come up here and try to say stuff to Mr. J. I respect, let's agree to disagree. I respect your opinion, you dig, but you, you gotta understand this. At what age are we gonna say that, you know what, let's just focus on the music. 
It's not about who buys what or who gets what. You do, and the fact that you're going to use that to say, if my man used that to say that, it's like, DeVito is not bringing in paper. Ladies and gentlemen, DeVito earns money. DeVito works for his money. You see that light trying to come on? It's confused. Anyway, sorry about that. DeVito earns his money. DeVito works for his money. DeVito gets paid. Ambassadorial deals. You dig? This man gets paper. So much paper that affording a, a, a Rolls Royce truck is not even a problem. You feel me? Hey, it's like you saying, um, you 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 trying to make it sound like this man has to 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 regret being born in the rich family. Some people are born in the rich family. Some of us gotta work double. I was born in the in the in the, in the upper middle class family in Cameroon. I still work my ass double. You feel me? Yes, everything is laid out and everything. I still put in work. I don't see them say, oh, my pops this and that. Now, the fact that, let me tell you what the problem is, because it seems as if I'm seeing the, the back and forth of between my Ghanaian audience, uh, my Ghanaian brothers and my Nigerian. I know that you guys have had this beef with Nigeria, period. Let's agree on that. There's always been this reef between you know you guys and Nigerians. When it comes to the music thing, I don't even know what on what basis it gets started off. Because first of all, we all know that when it comes to music in the motherland, they are big artists. Now, this man went forward to say, further to say, you know, he's not even signed to a record label in the US. But by the time he does, he will start doing futuring. Now, that was just gross immaturity, man. I got respect for this brother, man. I'm talking about Shasta Wale, but sometimes there are certain things that you just go and scratch your head like, huh? Was that really necessary? Yes, for me, this is what one of the moments where Mr. J went, is all of these talk necessary? Because if you talk about the fact that you cop something and you didn't get your pop's money, DeVito started doing music off his father. Yes, he might get a, a, that little support, but this man makes money. And a whole lot of y'all went and said, DeVito has no talent, this and that. Bro, let me tell you something. In the music industry, when we talk about talent, talent is reflected in the number of streams. Their talent is reflected in the number of deals. Talent is reflected in the number of, of, of ventures and things and how the paper comes in. And let me tell you, the video got paper of his father. His father might be a, that cushion that helped him, that springboard that pulled them up. But today, the video can stand by himself. You feel me? So that was necess that was not very necessary something to post. You dig coming from my man. You dig I thought this man is a wise and a bigger, smarter uh businessman and an artist. But hey, sometimes artists do shit. You dig artists act like you know, immature people. You dig so on this case, man, I'm gonna tell you straight up, that was that was not really necessary. The beef between buying this and buying that is not necessary. You feel me? It doesn't matter if you you he money he gets his money his his pops give him some of his money it's his money. But we are not going to deny that this man for the past ten years this man has not been putting in work this man has not been proving his worth when it comes to making music. Yes, this man has done a whole lot of collabs with big stars. I'm talking about big stars. I'm talking about big stars in the U.S. So why is it the problem that this my man? My man's gonna say, "Oh, when he's gonna be signed?" Didn't my brother say he, he's about to retire about after the GOG album? So when is he trying to get signed again? When is he trying to do so? So hey man, I'm just I, I'm just gonna keep it one hundred. That was BS. It was BS. It's just a car. You feel me? But when it comes to paper, paper, Davido's paper go long. It go long and it goes large. From the streams and everything. You feel me? So I'm not going to see him bash this and bash that way. Let's agree to disagree, my Ghanaian audience. Let's agree to disagree that that move, that move was a bitch move. You feel me? That move was a very childish move. Now, I mean, it's all love. Let's keep the love coming. But let's stop this beef between your fan base and this space. I mean, when they say something, we pull it out. We call them out. Now, I mean, so hey. Beefing, fighting over who gets what, fighting over who's from this family or that. If you're from a, a family that you had to hustle your way, it's good. You are the top. 
You should be, your hustle should make you mature enough to not say certain things. That's just what Mr. J is saying. You dig? So for the fan who came at me like, yo, Mr. J, what do you think? This is my honest, this is my honest opinion. You dig? Both of them are dope. But yo, we gotta agree, man. The video streaming and everything, when it comes to that paper, ambassador deals and everything, man, the video is top. You feel me? Yeah, Shata Wale is dope and everything, but yo, when he comes to that paper like that, Davido hustles and he pushes for his money, and he gets paid paper too. You feel me? I didn't see my man talking when Davido copped his, his, his private jet. I didn't see that. Oh, we gonna act like, you know, so man, all of this is just, you know, but hey, it's either my man is gonna retire after the GOG album, or he's still gonna stick in and get signed and then start doing collabs like he said. But all of this thing is just talking, I mean, it's all love, I know deep down they love themselves, I think healthy competition is good though, you feel me, big up to the man, the video man, keep doing your thing man, keep playing, playing music, do whatever you gotta do to keep that paper coming, 30 billion gang, Nigeria, Amadi, Odoko out, be good, be nice man, I hope you did hit that subscribe button, smash the like and that notification, we out of here, peace.